Hey guys, I'm back, Jay's life. Sorry, it took me long. I had to sort out my phone storage because I have to do that every now and then to delete some stuff off my phone and stuff like that. The whole thing. <laughs> um, so, I want to look at my bump. It's my bump right here. My bump's literally right there. I don't know if you can see that properly. But it's like literally right there. You can see more bit over here. But yeah, that's my bump. Anyway, getting off track. Um, this is going to be a story time. So, get your popcorn ready. Your snack ready. I got my apples here. Cut up. Don't know if I trust them or not. Because they go off in like... Tuesday. They're like at the bottom of the fruit bowl, so I'm not sure if I trust them or not. But I'm gonna try one and see. They taste apple so you guys get to see it too. And then I have like one small piece here. So just, wait, is it just me or do you, or does everyone else like apples cut up? I feel like it's just me. But hey. I'm weird like that. Anyway, um, so this is going to be a serious story time. Um, no funny business, serious sit down or stand up story time. With me eating apples, so let's go. <laughs> so Hold on. I'm trying to eat. Why I have tissue, I don't know. Anyway, so. You know how I have a boyfriend, how my baby has baby daddy? Um, oh, that's my sister outside. So basically, he lives here with his aunt, his auntie. And, um, sorry, my sister. And then, um, so yeah, he lives with his auntie over here. And, um, he's not from here, though. He's from, um, He's from a different country. Um, he's from India, so he flew down here to live with his auntie and to like try and find a job and just like live live life to the fullest and see what I I don't know why he flew down here, but I'm guessing he has some family members down here and his aunt. You know, um, yeah, and then um, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, you anyway, know, sorry, my grandparents came around. Anyway, where, where was I the story time? So, yeah, so he lives with his auntie and he had a job and stuff and he met me and just kind of like when that stuff happened had sex got pregnant everything was fine and dandy so next thing that happened this is the real story time so he texted me probably like um like couple of days ago or a day ago and he was talking about like visa or his visa guessing that's like another word for like passport or something um saying that it expired um which means he can't be in this country no more like he can't live in this country no more because his passport has been expired 
So, um, so, um, so I just trying to get get my sister's attention because she's outside. Anyway, um, so, sorry, I'm getting off topic. Anyway, so literally, yeah, so he messaged me that, and I was, like, re reading it and, like, constantly just, like, thinking about it, and then I told, showed my mum and my sister. I haven't showed my dad yet because I want him being right and not caring, and my brother wouldn't really care, so I didn't show them, but showed them. They think it's all like lies and bullshit, like he's trying to get out of being a parent. And then um, this morning we had a 10 minute convo on the phone, like an actual call on the phone. And we were just talking about it. And I literally had nothing to say. Like I couldn't, like my, my words, I couldn't speak. I couldn't, well, I could speak, but like I couldn't really speak about how I was feeling that time or like how I felt but um but yeah so um <laughs> literally literally um sorry it's not funny this is a serious matter so basically um what happened um so yeah we were speaking about it and I was like don't you already have a job and don't like don't you live with your auntie? Can't she help you? And he was like, I don't have a job no more. I can't I can't have a job and live here while being in prison if I don't fly back. And his auntie can't help him because she has her own family. And it's not really his mum and dad. So, like, can't really help him or, like, provide him with, like, with stuff. And um, I was like, I get that. I understand that. And I was trying, like, in my head, I was trying to, like, think about making him stay, but he can't stay because otherwise he would be put into prison for God knows how many years. Um, so I think the best thing for him was to leave and, I like, a 10-minute combo. And, yeah, I mean, I think he's booking a plane ticket next month. And he said he wants to see me one last time before he goes... And wants to see his child one last time before he goes. And, um, I mean, I won't lose contact with him because I do have him on the app. Um, he still wants to see, like, a sonogram of his child. He wants to see, like, the growth of his child, the birth, his actual baby when it's born. And all that stuff. So I don't think he's actually faking it. I think it actually is real. Um... Because I can always just send him pictures and updates about the baby and stuff like that. Like, I'm not trying to, like, cry or nothing. Because, like, I mean, earlier on, I was, like, literally about two. But then I had to think happy thoughts because I, I didn't want to cry. I wanted to be happy about it. But, like, I'm not a cool person. Like, I do cry over emotional things. But, like, I didn't cry over this one because... I wanted to just think happy thoughts and positive thoughts and stuff like that. Have, like, a positive mindset. And, yeah, so that's pretty much my story time. Um, he won't be in this country starting from next month. Which, I mean, I get it. Like, in a way, I do get it because I don't want him to end up in prison. I mean, he can always, like, we feel this buy his or his passport up and like just do stuff like that I guess um but yeah so that's pretty much the story time I how I feel about it I mean I I don't want him to go because he's gonna miss the birth of his child but then again he can't help it because um, he really has no choice but to go and go back to his hometown and live with his parents and all that stuff. And I'll still stay in contact with him and 
hopefully when the baby is born or like during labor he'll come back to england and see me the baby like he'll like visit i hope that's gonna happen that's like eight months away yet so yeah that's pretty much the story time of that of my boyfriend my baby's daddy um yeah i don't know that's pretty much it like uh, there's nothing else to say but that's pretty much like what happened and stuff so also moving away from the story time i'll be eight weeks pregnant on tuesday so i have sunday monday so i have two days left of being seven weeks and then i'll be eight weeks on tuesday um so i'll get i'll give you guys an update on that and the, the symptoms i have then and on thursday i do a birthday vlog with my sister i do parties and all that stuff and then my brother he's working right now but he's going to my cousin's house it's like they just moved house it's kind of new and my brother has never been there before but he's only going there for like two nights he's coming back monday like late afternoon monday and then the next day i'll be eight weeks pregnant and then i'm doing parties for my sister's birthday and yeah so that's pretty much it for the story time but i hope you guys enjoyed this video please remember to like subscribe share, and hit the bell so you can be notified when i post a new video please remember to support the event stay beautiful and i'll see you guys on tuesday for my eight week pregnancy update bye guys